Okay, welcome to the drum show. This is my friend Carl Meldgaard here, and he's uh, playing this wonderful instrument called a boran. Uh, if you look at it, if you spell it out, it looks like bodran. <laughs> Chris Quinlan, drum show, and this is my good friend Kyle Meldgard. He's going to tell us all about this thing here. How do you pronounce the name, Kyle? <laughs> Boran. Uh, Boran. Yeah, well, and it's not spelled every, like that, though, no, is it? No, it's not. And even B the way I'm saying it is wrong. Boran. To the, yeah. Boran. B or Boran. B O D H R A N. All of Ireland is now cringing. Uh, it is. Sorry about that, dear relatives. Okay. All right. So tell us all about the that. Well, yeah. Um, this thing, yes. It's wow. Well, it's a it's a funny sort of um, instrument that um, there's not a much uh, group. There's not much written um, history on it. Um, these funny. Uh, sifting things is one idea of where they came from, and then mm. people take the, the sieve out and then put a skin on it. Mm -hmm. um, then there's also the possibility that it's a tambour coming up through, you know, from Spain and Africa and all that. Well, it is um, a part of a, the frame drum family, family, isn't it? Exactly, it is a frame drum. So um, it'd be like uh, you can have all the various sizes, and mm. in the Middle East they have a rik. And mm. all that is, is, I think that's how it's pronounced. No. Reek. Yeah. That sounds like uh, me and Cas uh, Casablanca, isn't it? Reek! Reek! <laughs> Don't let them take me! Reek! So, Sorry about that. Oh. I, I might edit that lousy joke out. Yeah. So there's your frame drum. Yeah. And Let's see it in action. You've got a tip. Yeah, yeah. It's called a tipper. Yeah, so a kippen. A kippen? Yeah, yeah I oh. think that's a, it's an oh. old or stick. <laughs> It's a stick. It's a stick. Okay, so tell um, me about the tipper all right. and all that. Um, it can be used in either, well, actually several ways. Uh, most commonly single-ended, um, yep. with down and up strokes, or let's, let's have a listen. pendulum type strokes. So something like that. Um, there's the ever-popular downs, down strokes. So. 
Bluffs. Yeah, the Bluffs. I believe I'm looking at a paradiddle there somewhere. Well, Let's, let's, that's pretty let's, much as... Let's see how fast... Mm, whatever. Mm, I'm putting you on the spot here. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no, we'll stick with this thing. Actually, I'll, I'll change the, the grip a bit because I'm sort of in between a double-ended style. All right. Can I borrow that for a second? Yeah. I just want to put it up to the camera. Mm. You see, what happens here is that there's that part there, isn't it, that you hold, Kyle, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Now, you've given me other tippers where that part there... What is there a name for that nah, part? No, not really. Okay. So mm -hmm. what happens is that that part, you've given me one where there's one in the middle as yeah. well. Yeah. And what does that do with the weight? Um, the weight so. That's more, if you're playing double-ended style, some people, it's so sort of commonly referred to as carry style, but it's a sort of funny thing where mm, it, that's the county of carry. It's not necessarily true. Um, but it's the best description that we commonly use as right. baron players. But basically, the more central you hold the stick, the tipper, mm -hmm. the, the easier it is to get the top end in. So oh, you can okay. get, you know, I'm comfortable here, but you can... So that's actually three strokes. That's a, a down, an up, and a top. Right, okay. Um so you can do that. So it's all that, now that's coming across like that one up there. Just keep doing that for a second. Yeah. Because I'm trying to you see what I'm trying to do is relate this to the mm. drum show. The drums, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So that top one and because you've got two strokes down the bottom. Would I be right in saying? No, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to <laughs> because I'm a folky. So when you're doing the, the because you're doing three strokes, mm. that would be thought of Always. generally on drums as triplets. Definitely. But uh, perhaps um, in more Celtic style, they would be thought of more in a compound time, maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, folkies won't talk about such things. <laughs> the secret business. Yeah. All right. But, 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 okay, so if we're talking about triplets... Yeah. Where you've got three notes and you're going diddle 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 diddle. Which one of the strokes is one? Generally, usually the downstroke. That one. Oh, okay. So I, I got that wrong. Okay. So but it depends. Um, this is the funny thing because where I put my hand will change the tone and then it will feel like it might be on the top. Oh, so so um, in, in our I, kind of way, we'd be talking about an inversion yes. of some kind. So because you've got the top, mm. like I, I would see that, like if I had to play along with you, what, what goes on, I might go a little bit classical on everyone here um, yeah, yeah. in the sense that I might bring this in a little bit for the camera's sake and turn the snares on. This is just a mesh head like that on a cheap old uh, snare drum. But what, what sometimes happens, when, when I'm playing rudimentary stuff, when I was with the brass band, uh, everything's alternate sticking hand mm. to hand, so you be that kind of thing there. But when we we used to do national championships and stuff mm. like that, some of the classical snare drum was very fine and all that. I mean, usually, when you're on a march, generally speaking, there's there's a certain amount of rules that you have to follow. Mm. You know, like you you're marching it between 100 to 120 beats per minute. You know, the, the, the standard used to be 120, used to slow down sometimes in Anzac Day marches if they're, you know, whatever, mm. but nevertheless, you're still, there's that parameter. And usually those kinds of marches are in duple time mm. because you've got two feet. Mm. Left, 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 <laughs> right, left, and... That kind mm. of thing there. But when we did championships, 
and we had to play uh, brass band arrangements of classical things and all that. I never forget Dvorak's New World Symphony, mm. sixty bars of rest, you know that sort of stuff. You know, yeah, I went to I went to college to study how not to play, mm. you know that kind of thing. But what used to happen, and it still does in a lot of the uh, um, classical books, such as Portraits in Rhythms by Anthony Cerrone and people like that those kinds of books. In a classical sense, to get the nuance of a classical piece, it's very different to a rudimentary piece mm. in the sense that you might be playing just one-handed. Mm. That kind of thing there. Now, if you tried to do that alternate sticking, Now that you've got a whole lot of technical sort of uh, challenges in front mm. of you because you're going mm. from right side to left side, it can be done, of course, but it's just a bit more difficult. But then, mm. um, but when you're doing it at triple P, very soft, yes, yes. you know, like <laughs> um, a lot of uh, a lot of classical snare drum pieces, one sided. Now, when I see you play the baron, that's a that's that's this is a, a drawing a bit of a bow. Mm. I hope it's not too long a bow. <laughs> but when I but when I see you doing the top and the down, mm. I can sort of see that. Oh, oh, the top and the down, yeah. Yeah, the, oh, this, the, oh, oh, still talking ah, about the triplets. So yeah, sorry, 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 yeah, yeah, sorry. Ah. So when he wants to play along with you, mm. I'll take that back off. Now. left hand. Like that, you see. I could do I could do that. But there's a definite three in there. Like if I did this, there's six tuplets, but you can see the accent there like on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So like I could do a paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Mm. Go. Yeah. Oh. Let's just have a listen. Of a pair of... No, 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 just oh. doing what oh. you're doing. No, no, I'm, oh, I'm fitting into you. I'm fitting to you. So, so. Just do what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, I'm playing at half time. Yeah. There's a definite... Now, that's, that, that can be quite nifty to try. Like that, so you'd you'd sit to right, left, left for that. Or if if you feel like you're left, um, I'm turning it into a half Boran lesson or Boran history into a drum lesson. Mm -hmm. But but if your right hand's a bit stronger, you might do it with the left hand. So go again. Mm. Ah, I'm better with the right, left, left. There you go. Oh, no, did you see? This is how we can lock in. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I like yeah. that. 